Hello. Hello. <laughs> you confused by we always do I'm always here, it's always Hi. us. <laughs> um nice I feel to meet like you. nice to be you. I feel like guys, you need to come over to YouTube and watch them. Because I'm gonna show Beth my wedding video. You're gonna have to fake tears now. Is the video going to be in the actual YouTube video that we mm. post up for the podcast? Oh, yeah. So Brian? as I react, the footage oh, that I see, we make Brian overlay, and then it'll be a little square of us. But then on the podcast, if you're listening, we will cut out some of it because it'll be very shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> just you going. Ooh. Oh, oh, what music is it? Not. It's like just okay. backgroundy music. You want to go? Um, let's go. <laughs> Roll the intro, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and welcome the Unfiltered Bride podcast. Tips from the top table and beyond. So you know it's going to be juicy. You'll never guess who sponsored the podcast again. It's got to be our favourites, Crafty Lab. If you're an avid listener, you'll know that they are the home of the viral wedding newspapers that I had at my wedding. But we wanted to tell you even more about them, so let's do some quick fire tips. Yes, okay, go. You can fully personalise your newspapers, it's not a template. Each newspaper is completely different and you can write whatever you want, so it's all about you. You can use them anywhere, from ceremony chairs to wedding breakfast tables. Roll them up with string, choose a booklet option or leave them flat, they all look beautiful. They can be fun and functional, crosswords, order a service and taxi numbers. And all those tips I give on TikTok. Think Irish goodbyes, meet the wedding party, your love story, anything and everything. Printed in classic black and white or colour, there's loads of options to make sure they fit your wedding aesthetic. It's easy, they basically do it all for you and I am 100% certain that your guests are going to love it. So make sure you get your order in now. Don't forget to use the code UNFILTERED for 10% discount too. So your wedding was what, nine months Yes, so. So typically, I don't think videos take this long. However, there's a lot of footage to it. <laughs> first of all, I asked for a lot. So I asked, so Lion Island Media did my videography. Highly recommend. Um, not just because it was fantastic, but also because he is my stepbrother. <laughs> so there's also a little bit of leeway with the time. So what's the average kind of time? Do you oh, think? I think it's like, I thought it was like It's a couple three of months. months. It is a couple of months. Like I think up to six months Ooh, is okay. because there's should you get a teaser beforehand i would hope so we got, got a, a little... video on the day yeah and then we got another video a couple of months ago like a short like snippet bit yeah and then this is so he's done me the full video he's done me the full ceremony which we did watch and cry because it was beautiful we've got the full speeches and he's also given me every <laughs> what's it called bridezilla He's also given me every video that he did. <laughs> <laughs> because I said to him, I want to, it's not The normal. full package, the full one yeah, too. Don't ask for this, you won't need it. It's only because I want to make TikTok videos and be able to use the yeah. thing. So he's edited all of the clips, taken out like where he's breathed <gasps> over the top of it or like cut out where he's moving the camera into place, blah, blah, blah. So I've got little snippets of all of the videos as well. So that is why it took. Can you just stop talking? Because I, wanna, yes, okay. I want to watch. Are you okay, putting it here? Yeah. This is so exciting. Georgie really doesn't like Apple, so she's got HP. <laughs> That's our chance of getting sponsored by Apple gone. <laughs> Look at that decor. Beautiful. Doesn't it, does, it, does it look bang bang in? Bang in. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Georgie's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, our <laughs> our <laughs> Who stood up clapping? <laughs> Seriously, mother. thank you to every single one of you for celebrating this day with us. Not only is it our wedding day, but it's New Year's Eve, a day of reflection and also goal setting, which is the very reason why we love this day so much and we're so appreciative that you're all here to celebrate this day with us. Georgie, my wife. Hey. 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 Thank you. More than 12 years ago, you swept me off my feet from the moment I met you on Dry Fridays during the trial shift. <laughs> I've never like been a believer of things yeah. that weren't meant to happen, but meeting you felt as close to that as it gets. It's safe to say, when you were like this, it was love at first sight. It was, you said that. <laughs> Georgie, I want to do it all over again, I'm like a minute in. Person. You pushed me out of my comfort zone and motivated me to improve and succeed. It isn't an exaggeration to say that I don't think I would have achieved anything Ooh, of note in my life without you. Make it banging. 
Thank you for effortlessly and unconditionally believing in me. I promise you that I'll spend the rest of my life trying to encourage and support you the way you've done for me in the last 12 years. Oh, so I can't sweet. wait to see what the future holds for us, but I'm excited to do it with you. Look at that pump. So please raise, raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, Mrs. Mitchell. Mrs. Yeah. Mitchell! Yay! Yeah. So tanned. Oh, that teddy bear's got bits of my wedding dress. Oh, I love her. Hello, me, my hanky. I love John. It was freezing. makes a strong feature in the age. Oh, there's a bit as well where he proper features. <laughs> oh, I love the detail on the back of the dress. It's so nice to see the more oh, of it. Oh, mm. it came in two bits, yeah. your veil. A little droopy, droopy bit. Why do you excuse Because I'm terrified because my dad's coming here. <laughs> oh, I love your dad. He's so proud of you. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Oh, the way he hugs you, like he literally like fell into you. He's a oh. I am annoyed, I do just want to do it all again. I know, I feel like we need to do it all over again. Yeah. I feel like in videography as well, you can really see who's like happy for you and smiling <laughs> and stuff and who's not. You do start to look at all your mates and be like, oh. <laughs> Why are you not smiling? You're walking yeah. down the aisle. I love the fact that you got ticked throughout the day. <laughs> I love that as well, actually. What well, old school pics. Yeah. My dad little Ryan. Four thousand one hundred and eighty-two days with you have been wonderful, and I've watched you grow and change over that time and become the most amazing man and father. You are thoughtful, kind, hardworking, loving, strong, passionate, and enthusiastic. You're always so laid back and willing to go with the flow to make sure that people around you are happy. I want you to know that if you ever feel a little bit alone in this life, that you are not. <laughs> oh no. Stop! I will always be beside you as your number I one cried fan, at this point. Yeah, your yeah, best yeah. friend, your cheerleader, and your support, and challenge every dream or idea that you have. I'm so unbelievably proud of everything that you've achieved and built over the last 12 years. I know that today is a pinpoint in our very long and happy relationship. And I know that we've got many years of adventure, romance and fun to come. I don't You're know what, like... where or how we decide the next six <laughs> decades to go or like more. <laughs> I just know that I want it with you. So, please raise a toast to the most important man in the room, to Brian. <laughs> I thought you'd be funny and say something else. <laughs> 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 That was so fun as well. So many people asked about that in the DMs. Yeah. I know I might try and turn it into a Yeah, as you say, definitely. It's just so nice to see like all the bits. Like I know yeah. I did everything. But it's I so forgot nice about to half of it. Yeah. Who was that? I didn't even see them. Really. That's um, Brian's nephew. <laughs> Patty. My nan. Oh, those ice cubes are good. It took us days to make those ice cubes. <laughs> oh, Brian! <laughs> Bagging up! <laughs> There's Beth, so we'll have the photo booth. <laughs> oh, this bit was so magical on the day.
Dip. We dip in. That's Ready. a cool shot, isn't it? Boom. Oh my god, I've just got like the shivers. It's already cold. He was so cool as well, wasn't he? about your evening jacket. <laughs> I remember we were going whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, you can hear it. <laughs> oh, that's it's good, magical. It? Like, that is so good. I like, like, I, my insides, <laughs> like my body went through the emotions and I was like, I nearly cried when you did your speech to Brian. I laughed. I got like, the, just re seeing it to relive it like it's, it those point there's pivotal points yeah. in the day that were just like you know when everyone did like the confetti on yeah. the dance with that was just like you know i like, had the best time what like escapism you know that feeling mm. when you go to like a concert or something you get like escapism like genuinely like no one was on their phones no yes. one was looking on their phones everybody was like in the moment everyone was living for the moment mm. and there was the video just shows how many little different bits there were I like that and the all vibe the touch changes it goes from like nice wedding nice speeches cool drinks reception and then to, right into like party party and, beer pong oh, oh it just gives me i've actually got <laughs> it, i can I see on my hair <laughs> How many times have we watched it? We've watched it quite a few times now. And still I don't think time. you could get bored of that. That is honestly I, beautiful. I I love my photos more than anything. Else. A video is totally different. It's I a whole feel different like thing. Even though your video is not backwards, but it starts with like speeches. Yeah. It still tells a story yeah. perfectly. Mm. It's not like boring ceremony. No, not your boring you, ceremony. Yeah, you don't want it, it to run in order. order. Like it just... Yeah. Hits, oh, video hits different. This that. is what... Because a lot of people don't have a videographer. I'd rather have video over photo. Would you? Yeah, because you can get stills from you the video, can get can't you? From video. I just think both. Just get both. Just get both, please. Yeah, I'd say I'd rather you do video over over styling. Yeah. <laughs> don't have any flowers. But it, yeah, it's that memory. It, like there's so I many see parts I didn't that. see. Yeah, I fucking love it. Like I your brother on the phone. It. And yeah. It's and like you said, like I've rewatched it and looked at different people, mm, everyone's emotions. Bits, yeah, I just I love it so much. Like I'm I'm one for keeping to your budget, but if you can, because you can't go back, you can't go back and have a videographer. Once that, it's done, it's done. I'm like sweating. <laughs> I'm like I just I'm really speechless. Like it's perfect. I also we watched the entire ceremony the other day, and that was like. Because when it's happening, my I cheeks hurt from just smiling watching that whole thing. And that's what I was like all day. I was just ah, smiling. I just want to do it all again. I I'm know. so sad. Can we, I want to do New Year's Eve parties. No. Can we, Brian? Yeah. yeah. Currently trying to arrange Ali's birthday parties. So it's not. <laughs> Honestly. Aww. I can't believe it was so long ago. I know. It, does, it feels like ages ago, but it also doesn't feel like that long ago. And like, so whatever you do today, if you haven't got a videographer, book one. Go and just go and get some quotes. Did you feel like there was too many cameras around? Like you had, because I think people worry about that, don't they? Like a yeah. photographer, a videographer. Yeah, especially because we had two shooters at one point. <laughs> like, and then also um, Elliot, who is Lion Island Media, he sometimes got, because obviously, so it's all very incest. His girlfriend, his fiance actually now did my hair. So uh, yeah. she's individual glamour. So they work really nicely together. But also I know that during the ceremony, he gave her a camera and she filmed from other angles as well. But I did not notice a camera no. ever. Because actually somebody messaged me on one of my, I did a TikTok the other day that was like, 
giving dad a present. And I was like, just wait until photographers and videographers get there. And someone was like, does it not feel really forced? And I just don't think it, I don't think it, the whole day is really forced. It's an awkward day anyway. But you're going to want to capture that raw yeah. emotion. Yeah. Like that's a real, like, like, we've already said you've given a gift as well, but you also want to. I, I want the moment. moment. I, and I don't think there's, because I think some people are always like, that you get the other side, they're like, oh, you're trying too hard to make it it's Instagrammable. It's the only blah, blah, blah. thing you can keep from yeah. your wedding. And I, love every single photo that I have and I love every single second of that video like both together just I've covered everything I can see every single bit so let's talk about videographers yeah what what would you be looking for if you were looking for a videographer because you obviously work with lots of videographers what yes. style do you like I really like a story kind of how did you feel about there being speeches over the top of it because I'm sure you've said before you don't like words over it. I don't like words over it when it's the ceremony. Okay, interesting. Because I feel like I know you did personalized vows as well, but I, I think feel it would have like been too the, sad. The speeches were a bit more, a little bit more relaxed. Mm. They still had some really special moments in it. Like with the ceremony, it's like I take you to be my lawful <laughs> wedded husband. <laughs> exactly that um but it felt natural it felt comfortable for me it's a very natural organic kind of yeah i don't know too much terminology i'm not gonna try and act like i do no, i i but don't think we should use terminology because we'll get it wrong i can tell you what i don't like in video what don't you like in video very saturated yeah like i f the, it's like photographers the preset that they use yeah. is got to be like i think it's the color grading. the color gra color grading yes I've, but that hit the spot like the shadows and everything when yours yeah. was just like bang on and it looked like that on the day yes because i never look, i look at things very differently to how you look at things because i'm looking at how it feels mm. you're looking at the fact that that color is not the flower that you put yeah. in there and actually that's quite important for you so we got we did an amazing wedding which you were on actually and we got the video back and i was like it doesn't look as it did on the day oh. and i feel like Again, like with like iPhone cameras and stuff, you can't capture how it looks. Yeah. The feeling and the the depth and the shadows and how like beautiful mm. it does really look. The light and the candles. But we got it back and it was like really saturated. Oh, because was it all white? We had like, there was like some foliage and the foliage was like super green and like prompt. Like, you know, it's, it wasn't. Right. I mean, the video itself was beautiful, but the colors were yeah so that's something that I'm it like, must be really hard to do the video i'm like can i edit your video i know it is must be hard to get the feel and look right yeah and tell a story yeah and be emotional because surely the point is to spark like yeah tears just something i don't know i feel like that's the skill of the aftermath like capturing yeah. the footage is one skill and this is and why the video takes longer the storytelling of the second half getting the music at the right point yeah picking the right music yeah and so, you yeah. can't use certain songs because of copyright copyright and all that jazz but yeah i think and also i hate really clippy i hate it when it clicks too like it would be like it's like a reel like i think a reel is okay that it's like doom 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 it's a different thing yeah. every five seconds but i like i like the video when it like slows down on bits and you see you know sometimes when you see people hold hands and there's like just very good videographers have a very good eye for like a moment that's happening same as photographers actually they are able to capture capture this moment and like a video just Another thing I don't like, mm. and I think it's because people get really happy with their tech and stuff. And there's like, like you had some drone footage, but there wasn't too much. Yes, yeah, it was just like people don't want to see too much of them. Yeah, but like you had like the drone, like which was lovely, yeah. blah blah. And then it's, but some people like will do a whole drone of the venue up and round and down, yeah. and, and you're like, uh, uh, it just gets and you're me. like seeing all like the pipes and the, the back of house and <laughs> yeah. the but, bins. But they're like from them, it's a really cool yeah. shot and they've used a really cool piece of kit or oh, I just don't like too techy. awkward like you know I've seen before where they've stood them outside and the photographer was even like nah fuck this I'm out they got the drone up and then it zoomed into the couple kissing oh yeah I was just yeah. like ugh, ugh. yeah nobody like I don't want videos of that but some people do some people do, do. do you yeah some okay. people do let's put it forward okay yeah fair yeah. all right fair enough I just I it's hard to you have to look at videographers full wedding videos yep and not check that there's if you're not into the cheesy because none of our stuff so the way elliot kind of works is he doesn't tell you to do anything yeah so it was very much he i think a few times he was like oh, okay do a spin like just to get a bit of motion yeah 
he was not like right okay you're gonna stand back to back and then you're gonna do this and then you're gonna walk three steps forward and blah, blah, blah. it was none of that so it was just followed the lead of yeah, the photographer yeah he definitely followed the lead of pat but then just had his own bits when he wanted something moving yeah but it didn't feel like we were being directed by 10 different people um i found an article and it says 10 things to consider when choosing a wedding videographer oh okay um first thing i would like to say is that it is said videographer not videographer <laughs> sorry is that even a thing people say videographer no yeah who? or vid who vid said that to you lots of people say it wrong video video videographer there's there, there's many ways that people to be say fair it. someone said peony the other day and they said peony peony i was peony. like what's a peony peony um okay so tip number one all these 10 things to consider start looking early yes 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 yeah <laughs> because again like because video takes a lot I, I mean this may not be a correct fact but i'm kind of gonna roll with it i feel like video takes longer to edit than photos for sure because you've got to match music sound color grade don't come for me if that's not I correct i think i think most people would agree i think photographers would agree with that but they they've got way more to like edit in terms of that than and, and fitting in the slots and doing the yeah. video and then editing and, and audio audio if you're capturing the audio from the speeches and you're trying to overlay it onto the thing like it's a whole whole different ball whole game different thing. um my point to people if if i ever i'm doing full planning with a couple and they say we're thinking about a videographer but we might we'll just park it for now i'm like you're never going to stop thinking about a videographer once it's gone into your head book one because you'll You'll be left yeah. with the scraps. Literally. And I mean... Oh, that sounds horrible. It does sound horrible. It's true though. Mm. If you've seen somebody and love their work, get in touch early. Yeah. Honestly, people get booked up and nobody believes you. Um, okay, quality versus price. There are wedding videographers out there that will do your wedding for £300. And there are wedding videographers out there that will do your wedding for £1,000. And there, will ve there, will, there are wedding videographers out there who will do it for £10,000. Yep. You need to make your decision about what this mean about what your wedding means for you. If you want a budget videographer, are you happy that it's going to be lower quality? Not always the case, but I mean, it's likely to be that they haven't got as much experience. Mm -hmm. But I would still say that I would rather somebody, I'd rather have a bad video than no video. Ooh, would you? Would you? E <sighs> Not if I'm going to fucking hate him. Belong God, who's that? Yeah, but yeah. I think with the whole wedding planning process I've said before, you've got to find who you like, mm -hmm. level the importance. And yeah. for me, videographer is up there and it should be for a lot of you. Yeah. <laughs> should We're be. Hinting. The, whoever you find and vibe with, you've got to have the right energy. Obviously, yeah. you don't like 10 grand. If you haven't got 10 grand to put on a videographer, which what's, isn't, I don't think- What's a normal videographer? I would say around the three to five mark. Yeah. I would go- I would probably have gone two to four. Okay. So there's, there is a range, but you can find video offers that do it for a thousand pound. And it you just... can find ones that do it for 10 grand. Yes. But, um, <sighs> depends what you want. Depends, depends what, what you want. want. Depends what style you want. Um, but I also say cheap is not always better. And the amount of people that go, I found this cheaper. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Why is it cheaper? Why is it cheaper? If it is because they're moving over from videoing, events i don't know corporate to weddings it will be a lower price because they're not used they're trying to get into a market and that's fine you can be understanding of that but if it's not if they're not gonna be able to capture the moments uh, how do you feel about dual like photographer and videographer i like that because i've seen one together. man band to do oh, photo do you mean, and sorry, video both. yeah <sighs> and he fucking nailed it did he oh i know who you're talking about gary i've never worked gary you can see him um good old gary gary my first boyfriend is called Gary. Have I told you this? Did I tell you this story? When, <laughs> I think I might have said this, but the other day we had somebody come and do fix our internet and I was downstairs getting ready for work. Yeah, you and did. And then Gary yeah. walked down and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Um, where did we go with that? Gary. So he did both, but I just, I just, I don't understand. It's under, a skill. I don't understand. Explain it to me. What's there to explain? He did, did he photo have a video, and video. But did he have a video, a video, videographing thing? Did he have a? I didn't ask him. Camera and a camcorder. Are they called camcorder? I didn't ask him. I need to know because I just know that photos were amazing, the video was amazing, and it was only him on the day. But, but I think we'd work really well together because then I could help him be able to do that bit and thingy. I think he had cameras set up. Yeah. And I wonder how because if there's a moment. Do you have to pick if you're going to video it or photograph it? 
Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 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 But I think... But I guess if you do, I don't you know can if... prop up a lot, can't you? Because yeah. if you're doing like dad's first look, you put a camera somewhere and then you stand and take photos. Yeah. Well, I saw Pat do it the other day. Yes, with, with the, the bridesmaids. bridesmaids. And yeah. he did that as a video and must have just captured stills from it. No, I think he did the video on his phone uh, and did photos because the photos the photos are from a different angle. So I think he must have stood mm. somewhere else. Mm. Um, you photographers and videographers mm. are very sneaky Hello, with your angles. Um, and technical lenses. I've seen, sorry, dual people that are like husband and yes. wife. They work really well Five. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. know what they're doing. They have no issue saying, get out of my shop. Move. Yeah, I, who did I do one the other day? And they both then kind of took it in turns. So the couple would stand like for the couple photos. Yeah stand there right i'm gonna take some photos do this do this then the video would come in and go right i want you to move because obviously you kind of need different things do you think it's cheaper to have someone like yes. that than have yes. two separate obviously because you've got paid two separate mileage yes. and two separate 100 percent cheaper to get people that are together mm-hmm. but i don't think there's loads of them in the industry no i've worked with a couple maybe three i know i know of three i probably least. know yeah three to five but then they they do work they work together and their work is incredible yes mm. 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 but I also would highly recommend your photographer recommending a videographer. A videographer, yes. Or have, or if you're looking, so say if you've booked a photographer and you're really in with them, I would say this is the videographer that I'm looking at. Do you like them? Have you worked with them? Do you like There's them? There's nothing worse than beef between a videographer and a photographer. I'm sorry, nothing worse. It's so, but then it's Frickin so awkward. mean for the couple because there's nothing to do with them. No, I know. But I, Everyone's trying yeah. to do their job to the best. I saw it the other day and it was so awkward. Oh, I just want to die. Go on, give it an example. So, <laughs> so, so f- to me, as we've discussed, photographer is not top dog, but is the decision maker. The top dog. Yes. And I will then, I will butt in if I You're feel needed. Top, top dog. I'm top, top dog, really. But I'm good at being like, cool. Like, I don't care where the confetti photo is. I care more about if the light behind isn't right. Like, if you can't take those photos, I won't do it there. But I want it to be logistically. Ooh. Yeah, but logistically, I want it to be right. Ooh. No, I said I wouldn't do it there. So I normally say to a photographer, <laughs> I'm going to do it here. Is that okay? It, do you have a preference on which way they walk from? And they're, they're normally like, no, it doesn't really matter. Like whatever. Yeah. This photographer was like, I'd like to do it here. And it was about three centimeters away from where I was going to do it. So I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. The videographer. Just three, yeah. yeah not four. Just, no, not four, three. The videographer <laughs> then comes over to me and I was like, so this is what we're going to do. Um, and she was like, oh, right. You asked, asked the photographer, did you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, I thought it was girls stick together. Ooh. And I was like, the fuck has that got to do with anything? I think, like, what? Oh. Well, I know. So then I was a bit like, oh, okay. Like, I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. I didn't like that. And I was properly thrown off because they were in the ceremony. And I don't. They were signing. I don't like it. I really don't like that. That was just the start. I think that's one really sexy. Like, you can't I be. I don't give a fuck what gender I also, you are. Yeah, I think. I don't know this video for you haven't told me, but it's like you be the type of person that be like, girls, what girls, do you do? like, like, it's whoever fucking like, come on. And it was, and I know that it wasn't a weird spot. If it was a really weird angle and they'd have to, like, a video would find it really hard to get around and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't. It was a fucking straight line. Yeah. From where most people, it was in a, in a lawned area. Just walk from there. Like, there's no, there's no issue. Okay, so what else happened? So then later what, on... Wait, what did you say back? Were you like, ha? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. friends, <laughs> high five. I should have gone, are you a girl? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been mean. Um, oh my God, I saw a TikTok the other day because it's funny. And it's this, this guy gives women tips on how to get rid of men when they're kind of talking to them. Okay. So she was walking and this man came over to her and was like, oh, hi. Um, blah, blah, blah. I started saying it. And she went, she just took her headphone off, went, sorry, I don't have any change and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. I'm going to do that. Um, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, we did this. So I just kind of ignored that comment and was like, right, okay. Um, and then there was a, she basically came over to me later and she was like, I'm going to take the couple off by myself because I'm not working with him. And I was like, right, okay. Like, what? Because the, the photographer has his style and I get it. Like if they're not, but but they didn't make any effort to discuss. Like most times people, when I meet people, I'll be like, right, can I just run through the day plan? They want to do a first look in the room. I'll come and grab you before anything. The usual spiel. She, I did, she didn't speak to me. She came about half an hour before the ceremony. So it was a bit weird timings wise anyway. And it just felt like a, cause I was the person in the middle. It felt like a total battle the whole time. Cause I was like, okay, for the bridesmaid first look, shall I put her here? And then I'll bring the bridesmaids in. And they were both 
he would say, well, no, I want to do it from here. And she's like, well, I want to do this. And I'm like, guys, help a brother out. Like, what? Why are you really calling I can yourself do. a brother? Did I say brother more than once? Yeah, you said it um, <laughs> in like two episodes ago. <laughs> Why are you remembering When we that? were talking about flowers. <laughs> you know, help a brother out. I, I do like, like the saying, help a brother out. And then you talked out. about the Barbie movie and then about <laughs> <laughs> females and males. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't start us on male bias. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the videographer later was like, I'm not, I'm not working with him. I'm going to take the couple off. And then I was a bit like, because the problem is, if the videographer takes them off, takes twice as long. It's literally it takes them it's out of it for fair. double the, the amount of time. And then there was one bit where they were doing something. They were doing I don't know smoke bomb or something like that. And <laughs> she was like, "Can you not film it, please?" And I was like, "Why?" Like, I, did you actually ask why? I did ask why. I was like, "Why?" And she was like, "Can you not share it until I have?" And I was like, "Yeah, okay, no problem." But like proper facey, and I was like, "Fuck off, get fucked, fuck off." Like I'm not film. I'm not going to post it on my. Also, your camera video is completely different to the video. Like it's not the same. They're out a different league. And also, it's not like you're not trying to be a videographer. No, it was so weird. And there was another bit where she just said something to me, and I was like, "You're just being a dickhead." Like she said something like, "Can I just get the shot?" And I was like, "I'm trying to fucking tower the champagne. Like give let let me let me do this first before you start." It was just, Mm. and it's just it's not fair on the couple. I don't think they noticed and. I played it down and the photographer played it down and the video was just been a bit meh. And I was like, just, just, let's all just get on. Like we could all just get on. Yeah. And I've never had, it's not very often where we'll sit and have lunch and we don't all sit together. We didn't sit together. I just don't get the beef, you know. I don't get the beef. I just think when a videographer and a photographer arrive, they should talk to each other. Be nice. And say, what do you need from the day? What do you need from the day? Yeah. Cool, let's work together nicely that's poor behavior i know anyway sorry i've lost my thing of how to find things so next up (laughs) oh it just said pick the right videographer try to meet your videographer and talk with them on the phone totally agree yeah need a vibe i mean i don't think you meet videographers no zoom zoom cool yeah um what equipment do they have that's very important because oh, I have no idea what I play. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why can't we? That sounds great. Oh, an SL57. Cool. Oh, <laughs> Canon. Well, yeah. I'm just looking at what cameras were for you. Yeah, exactly. What mic have I got? EO, EO, sure, sure. <laughs> SM7B. Apparently, they're good. Mm-hmm. Top tier. <laughs> um, drones. Yeah. Can I just say also, one of my biggest icks is when they shove a big fat like microphone on the groom yeah. for speeches, but it's like so big and fluffy normally they try and put it in yeah you do want the you do want the audio though i know but that's the other thing you need to check if they do audio if you want audio yeah if they do and drones. does the audio sound good because i've seen videographers that are killer but that audio is crap mm. and how important it is to you because i saw a videographer go and put the audio thing on one person during the ceremony and i was like because he forgot yeah Fuck. and i was like would i rather not have audio from it oh really or would i rather I mean, it's just an error on his part. Oh, but. goodness. How many cameras do they use? Yeah. Videography packages. So this is the other thing. A lot of videographers and a lot of photographers, it's like an hourly 10 hours. Oh, if you oh. need to stay late for a videographer. Yeah. I, my client showed me something the other day and it was like, I charged 300 pound extra for extra hours. And I was like, fuck me, I'm in the wrong business. I know, but they've got a lot of work after. Yeah, no, I get it. You've got a lot of pre-work actually. Mine's mine's easier Oof. yeah i know i know but you do i suppose it usually is them. at silly o'clock and they've all probably traveled like yeah they've been there all day because because also it depends on the video you want like do you want that getting ready bit or is the party more important or do you want both yeah or do you do you push the budget out and go like to me if they're there have Back them as it. long as possible yeah. keep them like i'd want to keep them the whole day i think the party it's like you've got to get some footage of that because yes. i think it's a good part yeah because you find a lot of people like yeah i'll stay to first dance and i go and they go like 10 minutes like literally yeah and it hasn't like kicked off yet yeah i agree Mm. um oh at the wedding the other day my cousin's wedding the other day when the photographer and videographer said bye they ordered like a big group hug he was like you guys have been awesome they did a big group hug and i was like "Mm, did you want to be in it i was like i'm a supplier too (laughs) um um finding referrals we just said about that to be fair um and yeah we're talking about packages so do you want big cinematic punchy big production so i worked with a big Ooh. videography company yeah oh my god i've never seen so many people Camera it was like cruise. a film yeah it's like a set from a movie which was great but it was also harder for me to know where to stand 
Because like, normally I'm pretty good at like, I'll, I'll do the dress and then I'll move and I know where I'm moving to. There was somebody everywhere. <laughs> I was like, I'm in this video. <laughs> Sorry, it's part of me. Um, whether you want the bride and groom prep captured. I feel like the groom prep isn't So we didn't needed. get any of Brian's groom prep. No. Because Elliot was with me. Yeah, And no, I, I wanted him to get my dad's yeah. first look was more important. Because what you could groom do- Groom prep isn't as exciting, is it? How long did it take you to get ready, Brian? Five minutes. Like 30 seconds. Like if yeah. push comes to shove, you could get them p- putting yeah. their buttonholes on. I don't think it's needed. Boutonnieres. Boutonnieres. Yeah, no, not needed. Um, what yeah, other video? You what? It'd be nice to have the video of me doing it. Though. Yeah, but if it's me or you, honey, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone didn't hear that, Brian said it would have been nice for him to have the video of him yeah. getting ready. So yeah. maybe think about it, consider it. <laughs> it, de- it depends because we weren't at the same venue, venue. That's what made it difficult. So you could easily get a videographer to go downstairs, do the boys, yep. come back up, like do the in girls. between. But I didn't, I, I, the father bit was really important to me. Mm-hmm. So Elliot couldn't leave until my dad had come and then he shot off to then go and try and set up yeah. ceremony and all that bit. He got a lot of you pre-ceremony though, Brian, in the ceremony room, like looking nervous. um what else do we need to think about video wise how long also you need to think about how long a video do you want i've seen people just do like one minute trailer like and they're just not enough like you're just like i want more more. and And the thing the issue i (laughs) I want more more. (laughs) the issue i have is that i know that they've got more video footage yeah i've seen people do the one minute and the one minute for me personally is just not enough no that can't capture it all time like it feels really clicky. It's like what yeah. we said before. So that's seven and a half minutes. Yeah. That and didn't feel like seven and a half minutes. It doesn't, does it? No, I was like, cause I was like, it was getting to the uh, party and I was like, no, there's, no, there's, no. there's gotta be more. <laughs> there's more, there's more. And that's the thing, like it could have been, it could be way longer. I might make it even longer one cause I've got all the clips. <laughs> God's sake. Georgie's going to be in the cinema. <laughs> I have got content for days, guys. Honestly, you wait. I just got to figure out how to edit it. Brian? <laughs> um, what else do we need to think about when it's video? So we've done time. We've done when they need to be there, what they need to get. Do you, this isn't really about solely videographers, but it is about suppliers. Like, how do you feel about what suppliers wear? That's a really good question. <laughs> because I saw oh. um, on Instagram some guy and I was like, you're in like a bright pink suit. Mm. Um, he had, this is no shade. He had like a um, bar a piercing Pierced, in yeah in okay. between his eyebrows yeah um big stretches like big stretches like pringle lid size yeah you and i was just pringles like this week <laughs> i was like you look like you do you you look great yes but, but i do think a certain type we- of wedding it when wouldn't fit. they had a white wedding oh. monochrome black tie interesting and he rocked up in a pink suit I was a bit like, who are you? Yeah. And then when he said he was, I was like, oh, Vicky, you're a supplier. Okay. <laughs> um, I can't tell you off because you didn't fit the dress code. So I know some suppliers, especially celebrants, will check the colours yeah. of the wedding, which I think is really clever because they're quite a like, they're going to be in pictures. Yeah. Whereas everybody else shouldn't really be in any photos. Because um, oh, I've seen some dress so casual. Yeah. And I'm like, I get you need to move. Like these suppliers need to be able to, bend and stretch and like all of that sort of thing but some of the times it's just not very appropriate i or think like you crease. need to be professional yeah i think it should be like work attire not work attire but like work attire yeah like even i struggle with what to wear for weddings because you want to be smart casual yeah not like i don't think you can wear shorts oh uh, we've worn shorts before yeah but you're not you're not around people hottest day of the year we wore shorts all right fair but you weren't around guests No, no, we're not really round guests, no. are we? No, I don't know. I don't know what. But the no, they're not like be. hot pants shorts. They were like yeah. <laughs> short shorts. I saw a girl in Costa the other day who had like sh- hot pants shorts and her t-shirt on, mm. working, and I was like, not professional. No, Costa's gone downhill for me. Sorry, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> um, tell me about. I think we don't. Have we fit anything else? Videography. I think that covers the good thing. I think the main thing. Book a videographer. <laughs> yeah 100%. i didn't push it as much until i've had that video yeah. back and it's blown my mind blown my tiny little brain um tell me about your site visit the other day uh oh yeah i went on a site visit <laughs> <laughs> i went on a site visit this didn't make it in our catch-up episode no with um to my couple of cu- yeah couple. and i think do you always need to do a site no. visit? no okay but i needed to for this one why three-day wedding okay 
build of marquee right lots of measurements needed to be taken fine um had to do a walkthrough hadn't been at the venue before fine huge venue lots of different areas in the venue needed to make sure every the guest journey was yeah there was decor at every single point we had a church that we hadn't been to before how far away was a church vans it's a big operation (laughs) okay um but why wouldn't you for some venues that it's more like a one day thing one because we've probably been there before so 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 first of all if you've been there before you don't need to do stuff like that is it to build okay marquee building and like access and routes and how we're going to get to the marquee and set like building a wedding i'm talking about marquee cps and things yeah. like that so was the marquee up when you went no but we saw the space where the marquee is going to be going got the sizes of the marquee yeah like it's you sometimes you can just rock up and you know like i've yeah. got a, i've got a room i've got 10 tables i've got a top table yeah. and i can make it work people get offended mm. when they say do you need to do a site visit and you're like no. it's simply not possible for us to do site visits for every single client no. there's certain clients at certain venues again it's difficult because we've got lots of different levels of clients essentially yeah. like i've got the client who's booked us has booked a, a team lot. of nine of us yeah, yeah. for four days yes we, you, yeah we need to be there we need to figure out we need to look at we need to like we need to really Smash i couldn't it. turn up on the day and be like yep yeah, cool Whereas a venue I've got loads of videos from, I always ask them to do a video walkthrough on the site visit that they do. Yeah. The venue usually have got a 360 tour. Yeah. It's certain things you need and certain things you don't. It depends what you're doing, I guess. Because if you're doing flowers, a flower arch, if you're doing flowers on the table, bouquets and like displays, meadows by signs, it doesn't matter if you're in one big room or like loads of different spaces. It's, It's being put onto something and doesn't matter. Oh, like for example, we're doing front of house decor, which have got really big stone pillars mm. i need to know like the circumference i need yeah. to and you can ask the venue they don't get back to you one of the venues that we asked the other day gave us like a massive measurement for that front door didn't they oh yeah and i was like i don't that's think right. that's right and they were like no 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 i can assure you it is i was like no that's no that's like no. a four-story building <laughs> <laughs> that is a skyscraper <laughs> <laughs> those um, flowers will cost one million pounds but logistics as well is huge mm. it's one of the biggest things of where vans are going if we've got chairs i need to make sure we've got ramps for the trolleys and it's all of that <laughs> stuff so people think it's oh no i want you to see what you what what you would put in i don't want to miss an area yeah, what do yeah. you think and that's why i always say do a video walk around for me yeah but i can't do weddings do site visits do consultations have a day off <laughs> You run a business <laughs> it's just impossible for the yeah. team to do it and it's we're constantly all over the country anyway yeah if it was 10 minutes down the road of course we could easily go and do a site visit mm. but you're talking three hours the so one the other day was five offended. five hours away so <sighs> it's a lot that could go wrong yeah that we can't mess up uh, no couples shouldn't be offended um but also yeah like you said it's what level we're providing yeah like we're providing like we've got lighting we're doing the full design yeah, yeah, so we're yeah. doing lighting we are working with the lighting production company that we had to meet to make sure that we were both on the yeah. same page and what areas we needed lighting to enhance the decor Ooh. so it's a it's a big end. a top one of the top ends yeah i wouldn't say it's the biggest it's one of the bigger ones we've done but we yeah. have done what's the biggest size. one you've ever done Whew. surely that's the biggest one you've ever done a four day no and more than a four day it, it we've done three days hmm. but for like 250 people oh I just don't know that many people. Yeah, and a lot of it is is we work with other wedding planners. Mm. Wow. Um, and it's all very much like, please don't share on social media. It's oh. all like, we're very, we can't share too much because who is who it is or Sometimes, their religion. Yeah, culturally and they don't culture. show off. Yeah. And it's, so like, you can't showcase the big ones. Them, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're fucking mega as well. But um, I get really sad when couples are like, we don't want anything shared. And I'm like, but, oh, but it's so pretty. pretty. <laughs> we did one the other day in Essex. And I was like, oh, please. please. Oh. Um, but no, we respect it and we get it. And like some- Can you take photos here? Like of the flowers? Yes. Okay. But like we have we've had to sign NDAs before. Like there's mm. so much into it of what you can and can't share and what you do. Boring. But yeah, we did a site visit the other day and it was awesome. Um, but what I took from it was I've been speaking to the bride a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, not so much the groom. Mm-hmm. But it was really, really nice to kind of see the compromise between them and what they wanted and what his ideas were just 
awesome oh really okay like what but to the point that he wants <laughs> what? i don't know how much i can say because it's our wedding he wanted funny story basically it was great to see how his brain worked and like he was very like you're gonna need to give us more than that not elaborate but like for example day three is christmas and he's like do you know what i bought this penguin on a like a snowboard for the house like not a snowboard um a sledge yeah. for the house and she wouldn't let me put it at, at the front of the house because she said it was tacky and horrible and like, he was like so just, we'll put it at the he's wedding like, he's like i really really want it at the wedding and like she was like no chance but she's like well if you really want it you can have it but like uh, for us there was three of us there so i had like th- three of us jotting down these ideas and yeah. we're gonna try and fit something in somewhere yeah basically because on the day i want him to know that we've thought about him thought the little nods that he want, like he really wanted yeah yes some of them don't work design wise and the bride is so accepting of it, like whatever he wants she's like if you want it you have it like yeah, it is just hide it the back and he's the same with her like oh if you don't want it you don't have to and it's yeah. like they're both trying to make each other happy and it was a really nice dynamic to see yeah but his ideas happened at the site like i couldn't jump on a zoom and have that happen no, no, because no. he was like he was very visual it's very interesting to see couples dynamic because I've recently been around couples where they are disagreeing on something. Yeah. And I don't know how to help. Yeah. I like, I don't even know what advice to give. And I've done weddings for however many years because somebody has to lose. Yeah. And it's, it, 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 it's basically, they were looking at guest lists and it was either these people are coming, these people aren't. One says yes, one says no. What, the f- what do you do? Uh, There's yeah. no middle person. No. I'm usually the middle person. So we did a console the other day and this i say this poor bride but it's he wanted one thing she wanted another and she kind of just said yeah to everything he wanted um, and i was just like oh like i don't feel like there was much compromise yeah and like i'll like throw in jokes every now and again i'll be like oh well you got your chair so she can have yeah, her yeah, thing yeah, and yeah. like we try and work it that way yeah um but yeah sometimes we are put in really difficult positions and you have to let to him say. you have to let him fight out you're like mm. but there's no i even did the whole would you miss them if they weren't there? Would you be upset if you weren't invited to their mm. wedding? Would you blah, 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 blah. And nothing, nothing, came nothing from is it. helping it. Like, I always like to go like, it's different with guests, but I'm like, why do you, like, for example, if they wanted black chairs, I'd be like, why do you want black chairs? Yeah. Like, what is it that's attracting? Like, I'd try and dissect it. Okay, you wanted to bring some black, have a look at black napkins or like try and look at it a different way if someone's really disagreeing. Yeah. <sighs> but mate, it's, you become a counsellor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure. I'm not dissing counsellors because they're very qualified in what they do, but like, sometimes it feels like you're just yeah and you're trying to make a nice compromise it happens on wedding and you're, days and you're also like this isn't really my argument <laughs> to fight <laughs> and i don't know they could turn around and be like this is fuck all to do with you stay out of it it's on weddings when um the photographer will come and say to me like oh we want to go and take them off some more photos mm-hmm. but i don't know if they want to so i'll go over and be like and she's always yeah 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then he's like i don't want more photos yeah. and i'm like so what do you want to do <laughs> i feel like the sun is literally saying yeah and i always try and be like look why don't we compromise and just do like five minutes compromise is key yeah five minutes do you reckon you and jack would do you reckon he would just let you get on with it he photos no he's not mad on photos the rest no actually because i said to him the other day like oh I, you'd wear this suit for the wedding he's like would i i was like what if i don't want to wear that and i was like oh Ooh. it's like when we did the ranging <laughs> Would you have a joint? Do you know what stag? the funniest no. part of it is? Is when grooms, again, very typically speaking, bride and grooms, when grooms come here, I've not spoke to them before, and they're like, "Oh, they don't care, they don't care," and they're like, "Fucking suddenly had an opinion on everything," <laughs> and we're like, "I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah." Me and Brian's first conversation about the wedding was not a fun conversation. It was like, "So what are we spending?" <laughs> oh right, wow, you think it's that much? I definitely have a different number in my, my head. head. And there'd be bits where he was like, "Well, I think we should do this." I'm like. I just think what's important to you, you both should have something that's a priority and yes. then have your top three and hopefully go from the, there. You've got a top six. Hopefully hope that some of them yeah. interject a little bit. Tip jar. Tip jar. Can tip I please jar. have a tip jar back? No. <laughs> um, so my tip, I want tips on this because okay. I find it awkward anyway okay. and I'm not even getting married. But when you get married, like, how do you know how to pose, like stand together? I feel like it's like school photo. Like, that's all you kind of ever used to, aren't you? When you take couple yeah. photos. So I want top five tips. Top five tips. Top five tips. Okay. On how to pose on your wedding day. Okay. Go. Tip, <laughs> tip number one, have an engagement shoot. Great. They're awkward. They cost more. It's annoying. But I promise you, when you've practiced a few, you'll see what photos look nice, what ones you don't really like how it actually isn't as bad as you think it's going to be and accepting how you actually look like that is how you look <laughs> yes and just maybe knowing like oh because somebody said to me the other day oh i don't you shouldn't edit photos blah, blah, blah. i was like no i want a life edit i want to know that if i stand with my arms really close to my body it doesn't look very good mm. so i won't stand like that <laughs> um tip number two is trust your photographer and videographer like 
you booked them if they tell you to do something and it feels weird or like uncomfortable just do it you don't have to use that photo just do it for the photo and actually it might be one of your favorite photos ever um tip number three is that sometimes the more awkward you feel the better the photo looks like it kind of goes into tip two but lean into it enjoy it have a laugh just do it for the photos it'd be worth it tip four is to practice at home again it's weird but the amount of couples that i get that send me the deep dip that they've been practicing and then on the day they absolutely nail it and it is some of the best photos so you just have to have a glass of wine practice some stuff at practice home. makes perfect yeah and tip number five and this was a really good one um i worked with a photographer the other week shoot it mama i think and she got the couple to so it was during the couple photos and they were stood and they were kind of doing all these things and she wanted them to laugh so she was like right, we're going to play an alphabet game and you're just going to whisper it to each other and you have to say naughty words beginning with every bit of the alphabet. So obviously you start up until D. Mm -hmm. It kind of gets a little bit harder. So then they're like actually laughing and they're having a really nice time and the photos are just... Mm. I've seen someone do Mr. and Mrs. before. Yeah. So they'll be like, so who's x y z or whatever yeah. and then they're like, one of them answer be like oh you're uh. joking like and like someone be like she snores or i'm like i can't believe it like it's like very candid you and want natural. the natural stuff but you've got to trust your photographer and videographer to put you in the position and then just enjoy have it. a convo yeah just chat like i don't remember any of that of my wedding i just remember getting nice photos i when i look at the photos i can't think of what we were doing yeah so you just have to be like right cool i'm gonna spend half an hour because some people are like, I just don't really want couple photos. And I'm like, you do, you do want couple photos. You do. You do, I promise you, you do. And it may feel uncomfortable. But first of all, you might end up with a photographer, videographer, coordinator, content creator, all stood around you. We see it every other day. Like You're not the first. You don't you look be the weird last. to yeah. us. Like, it's just, nobody's going, oh my God, like, look at them two kissing. Because <laughs> no. like, honestly, me and Brian PG. have not kissed as much <laughs> on our wedding day. We haven't kissed as much since our wedding day. If you added it all up together. And put it like, I'm day. tired of kissing you. <laughs> but great photos so yeah yeah nice um bitches from a bride <gasps> bitches from a bride you've got a bitches from a bride haven't you oh yeah oh god i'm scared ready yes hello 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 <laughs> i have a bitches from a bride yeah i just got married last month in france nice and had the absolute best day however <gasps> loads of ours <laughs> We had an unplugged ceremony. Our celebrant said to all our guests at the beginning of the ceremony for no one to share photos of the bride and groom before they do on social media. Fair. They could put photos up of themselves and everything else, just not us. Fair. During the dinner, someone came up to us and said there was a photo up. The celebrant herself had put a photo up of her with the two of us. So then we had to scramble to get a photo together to be put up as everyone then thought that was the green light. Don't know if I'm overreacting, but it was annoying. And why could she just not wait until the day after? Also, I wish I found your podcast before I got married. It's the most relatable thing ever. Would love a destination wedding episode. Mm. Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, this is one of my biggest icks. And I we we speak about it all the time. Totally agree. <sighs> don't fucking share it. I don't care if you're makeup artist, hair, celebrant. Us. I see makeup artists do it a yeah, lot. And I'm like, that's the prime. But also, I mean, maybe not the France one, but you've got evening guests coming. Yeah. I don't want them to know what I look like until they come. Yeah. I just think it's also, fucking rude. Also, I haven't seen it, cause I'm, so I might not look 10-10 and you're posting yeah, my yeah, first I pic agree. of me and I'm not 10-10. And also, I don't want the first pic to be with Celebrant. Yeah. No offence. I find it weird when suppliers um, video like the bride walking down the aisle and post it and I'm like, you must be in all the photos and the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I just think as also, a supplier, just on the day. Don't, just don't post, on the post day. anything on no, the I day. I don't mind. Like sometimes I'll do a lighting a candle. And yeah, you can see a little bit of decor to give a little bit. Of we support, might have done like a little like sneak peek of the bouquet, yeah, but I it's like no share. faces, no faces. I don't mind when people share themselves. Like yeah. I would share a picture of me and the suppliers that are working. Yeah, I would share a little bit of decor. I would share the front of the venue. Yeah, just just wait until the day after. It's not difficult. Mm -hmm. It's the same as don't wear white to a wedding. Don't share photos of the couple on the day. And don't be a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it first. <laughs> oh, that's made me sad. Yeah. I wonder if she said anything. Would you say something? I bet take it down. But then it's true. It's up. So then everyone assumes they can put all their pictures on. Exactly that. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Suppliers should know better. Yeah, they should. You can't should. say it's an unplugged ceremony. And then, <laughs> and then post a picture. Yeah. Mm. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Anyway, what are we doing next week? 
DM. We're doing a DM episode. We're doing a DMs and dilemmas. DMs and dilemmas. Oh, cute. Dilemmas and DMs. Dilemmas and DMs. DMs and We still haven't got a bitches from a bride jingle. No, I bitches know. Bitches from a bride. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Are we gonna tell people about our plan? No. We not. No. You sure? Stay tuned. We did hint If you it leave a review, I'll tell you the plan <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, can you not leave a review? Subscribe on YouTube. You can subscribe on YouTube, which we'd like you to do right now. You can leave reviews on Spotify. Yeah, because most Apple. of you are going to be on YouTube from this episode because you're going to watch yeah, yeah, the video. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So come on. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed my Help video. a brother out. Help a brother out. <laughs> <laughs> leave a review, subscribe, like and share. Uh, that's it, really. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you next week.